For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is not willing that any should perish. God did all he could that man may obtain eternal life and that eternal life is a gift. Because the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That God's love is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Giving is a gift. It is charity. And that there is no other love of God than his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that Jesus himself spoke of himself. That Jesus Christ said of himself, He is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father except by Jesus Christ alone. So you're not going to approach heaven or God the Father through Allah. Mary can't get you through no door when Jesus said, He is the door. There is no salvation set forth in a church, for church cannot save you. There is no means of water, salt, or fresh that can cleanse away your sins. And that man has a sin condition. For the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and when you come short you will not make it into heaven without the blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world when there is no blood there is no salvation. It is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, not the water of baptism. Not a certificate of baptism. Or being on a church roll or membership. It is nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses from all our sins. Salvation is a bloody salvation. And that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That we might have life. And that we might have life in Jesus Christ. More abundantly. And I say there are good people in hell. Because the good people reject the blood of Jesus Christ for salvation. 
I say that there are people in hell today that were faithful to their church. And they are in hell today because they rejected the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people in hell today that were baptized. And they would love to have that little drop of water to cool their tongue as they're in torment. There are people in hell today because they rejected that Jesus Christ suffered and died for them, according to the scriptures. And that Jesus Christ was buried. And that Jesus Christ arose again the third day, according to the scriptures, for their salvation. There are people in hell today that put their faith and trust in Allah. There are people in hell today, they thought Mary was somebody of importance. There are even preachers in hell today, though they preach from the book, they didn't believe the book. They didn't believe the word of God. I'm glad you're better. Oh, I feel much better now. Good. Thank you. Praise the Lord God. I'm doing much better. They have rejected the word of God, Jesus Christ. You see, a person goes into hell not because of an adultery, not because stealing or murder. They go to hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, their sins were not cleansed by the blood upon Calvary's mount. Their sins were cleansed by something else. Or they just didn't believe their sins were to be cleansed. When God has set forth all that can be done for you to be saved. And you might politely tell God, no, I don't want to believe in that Jesus. I don't want to believe in that book. I don't want to believe in that preacher. Jesus, you know, when I die, that's it. I'm in the grave. No more. Jesus, my church will do it for me. My priest will do it for me. Mary will do it for me. And I say they're all lies. Because Jesus said, I, Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus is the way, not me. That Jesus is the truth and the life. That there is no access to God except through Jesus Christ. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. When you come up short, you're not going to make it. And the only way to undo that shortness between you and God, you need a mediator. And the Bible says that that mediator between God and man is the man, Christ Jesus. Oh, I know they say that Mary is a mediator, but that's tradition. Because the Bible says there's one mediator, one, between God and man, the mediator, that one mediator, the man. Mary's not a man, she's a female. Females are not males and males are not females. The man, Christ Jesus. You need a male mediator between you and God. Mary don't fit. Not 
Your priest is not going to do it because your priest is not Jesus Christ. Your church can't do it because your church is not the man Christ Jesus. Your baptism cannot do it because your baptism is not the way to the Father. There are plenty of ways to go to hell. But there is one way that will get you before God in heaven. And that's faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. You say, well, preacher, you're narrow-minded. I say, sinner, God has set forth the standard. Whatever you feel that standard is, God is the almighty creator, savior, God. He can set forth the standard. And if God says that standard is only in Jesus Christ, then that's God who makes the rules and you can't do nothing to change them. You are the creation of the creator. You are not the creator. You don't come from monkeys. You come from God. You will be held accountable to God the Father. And God the Father, God the creator said... That he is the way. The way. Other ways are the roads to hell. And Jesus is the straight gate, the door to the Father. For broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many people will go the broad way to hell. Not everybody gets saved. That's a lie. And those that do get saved, they go through the straight gate, the door. The water of life, the bread of life, the I am. And that's through Jesus Christ. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. My heart has put faith and belief in nothing but Jesus Christ. And yet I can't shut up about Jesus Christ. There is nothing, no one, anything greater to speak upon the lips of man than that to hear that Jesus, and only Jesus saves. Glory to God through Jesus Christ. There is no glory of God through Allah. There is no hope in the Pope. Mary was a sinner and had to bring her sin offering. And long before a church foundation... Any church foundation, Jesus Christ climbed the hill to Calvary. God doesn't love you because and he suffered and died God even for loudmouth women Please that you up. might have Please eternal life. And that eternal Please. life is in Jesus Christ. That he was buried. And he suffered and died and was buried and arose again. He is the only one in history 
where his tomb could be resell. His tomb is empty, certifying who Jesus Christ is, God. What makes your religion greater than all religions? The empty tomb. The empty tomb certifies who Jesus is, God. And as a Jehovah Witness and you don't believe that God is God and Jesus is God, you are in great sin. You are in great rebellion. Because you're not to be one of the 144,000. You're to be the one that puts your faith and trust in Jesus. And only in Jesus. There is no other way approved of God. Except through the Calvary. Except through the cross. Except through the gospel. Through Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That life is at Calvary. Life is in Jesus Christ. And there is no other life than that of God when he spilt his blood upon the cross that we might have access to God the Father. There are two great words that ought to be on the headlines of every daily newspaper. It ought to be flashed along the screens of the media. One of them great words was upon the cross of Jesus that Jesus said, it is finished. <laughs> and when Jesus said, it is finished, you need not add anything to God's salvation. And when it is finished, Jesus died and gave up the ghost. And they buried him. And the other great headline was the word from the angel at the empty tomb. He is not here. He is risen. It is not no greater words than the words, it is finished, and he is not here. He is risen. And my volume is at the volume of highway traffic. We are meteoriting how loud I am. In the mouth of NASCAR, the pronounce going left hand turn, left hand turn, left. You'll hear the announcer louder than my voice. But let the name of Jesus, let the testimony of Jesus Christ be proclaimed. That if you want to get to heaven, you must come through Jesus. You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved or your dying breath and waking up will be in hell. And in torments. And if you were to have any satisfaction, if you would have any hope, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. 
And then without Jesus Christ, you are hopeless. You are dead. You are lost. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. That's you without faith and belief in Jesus. When the Bible says, go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is life. There is nothing in heaven that cheers the angels than a lost man puts his faith and trust in Jesus. When he puts his faith and trust in Jesus, his name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life reservations. If you go off and visit another area and you want hotel, you call ahead and say, hey, I need reservation. And they'll put your name in a book, they'll put your name in the computer. And when you arrive to your destination, hi, Mr. So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so, we have a reservation. And they go in the book, they go in the computer, and they look for your name. And when they find your name, you get your room. And when your name is put in the Lamb's Book of Life and you die, and you'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord, heaven reservations by the blood of Jesus Christ. That when you die, the Lamb's Book of Life will be open and your name has been written down. You'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Or you can arrive at the hotel and say, hi, I'm Mr. Such and Such. And they check their computer. They check the book. We can't find your name. Your name is not in our registry. You don't get a room. We have no room. And when your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life and you die, you'll die and you'll wake up in the flames of hell being tormented because your name was not in the Lamb's Book of Life by faith and belief in the blood of Jesus Christ the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, will put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Not a religion, not a baptism, not of works, but by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you able and will be saved? Salvation is of God, and God is Jesus. Mary's not Jesus. The Pope is not Jesus. Your church is not Jesus. You are not Jesus. You need God, Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Without Jesus, you'll be without heaven. Without Jesus, you'll be in hell. With Jesus, faith and belief in Jesus, you'll be for the Father forever, eternity, in New Jerusalem, in heaven. By Jesus. When we get to heaven, we won't sing praises of baptism. 
We won't shout joy of a church. Public domain. Public domain. We've already fought this battle, ma'am. Those signs are wrong, ma'am. Well, call the police. There's a police officer down there. Call him up and tell him to come over here because we fought the battle. We won. It's called the Constitution of the United States of America. Thank God. I am at the traffic level right now. i got a sound meter here. The train is louder than I am. Oh, well, the Bible says go in the world and preach the gospel. If you don't like it, that's tough. I'm doing what God told me to do. Faith without works is nothing. Talking I'm working, and I got faith. Rejection of preaching the gospel, you're in trouble. There shall be mockers. <laughs> Exalt in the name of Jesus. The only name of Jesus, and how the name of Jesus causes great scorn. But the Bible already says there will be scorners. There will be people that reject. There is the broad road that leads to destruction, but still preach my gospel. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus Christ doing good. Jesus Christ 100%. They gave him a cross. And it wasn't for the Constitution of America. You give me a cross. Constitution and no constitution, I will preach the gospel. There's no greater, there's no other hope than that Jesus. Why don't you yell at the train? The train is much louder. You'll get these cars that go by with music. They're much louder. But lift up the name of Jesus and all oh, shut the preacher up. Shut him up. We don't want to hear about Jesus. We're being convicted. Our heart is bacon. We don't want to hear about Jesus. And yet the preacher preaches Jesus. And the preacher's not going to preach Anything else but that Jesus saves. There is no better hope than the hope that's in Jesus Christ. There is no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And Jesus said he is the truth. Have I become your enemy because I've spoken the truth? People say they want the truth. When you preach the truth, they don't want to hear it. Bible says. There'll be scorners in the last days. Those with itchy ears. They don't want to hear the truth, departing from the faith, going to fables. They'll want veggie tales because their mind has turned to the vegetation state. They don't want to hear about the blood, and yet preach the blood. It is the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all sins. And yes, you are a sinner. I am a sinner. But the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when it comes to sin, you need the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Exalt Jesus Christ. Praise to Jesus Christ. And how do you know I'm preaching to a lost people? Because you want me to praise Satan. You want me to praise the world. You want me to lift up a human being and exalt a human being. But when I exalt God, when I exalt the Lord Jesus Christ, the world and the devil don't want to hear it. You know how I know if you're troubled with God is how your reaction is to the preaching of God. No true Christian would be insulted, would be offended at the preaching of Jesus Christ. And if you are offended, you are insulted by the preaching of Jesus Christ, you need to get down on your knees and repent and search your heart of your salvation. Because if you are angry and offended at the preaching of Jesus, there's something wrong. You're not right with God. Now, I didn't say you weren't saved, but you lost your first love. You lost your joy. When you can't praise and be happy and joyful at the preaching of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. No one, no one has ever done such a deed. There is no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saves. Allah will have to bow down before the holy and righteous God and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. The popes will have to bow down before Jesus Christ and proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Why don't you today bow your heart down, put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus. Proclaim that Jesus is the Lord today. Because the Bible says all will proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Those that are in hell will proclaim Jesus is Lord, though they don't believe it. You can do that now. You can do it today. You can do it at Mongolia and Wall Street right now. You can put your faith on May 1st. May 1st could be your new birthday. The day of being born again, May 1st, you could be saved. You can put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone and have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. And when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You today can do that. God will never reject any sinner that comes to Calvary and says, God, Jesus, I'm guilty. There is no sin that God will turn away. There is no sinner that God will say, nope, I can't save you. <laughs> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He say, well, preacher, you don't know what I have done. God does. And God said the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. God will wash that sin in the blood of Jesus Christ. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Can be cleansed through the blood of Jesus Christ. You can be cleansed today of your sins. You may not have tomorrow. You may not have this afternoon. You may not have tonight. Time is a vapor. 
And we don't know when time will stop for a human being. The midnight hour could be in one minute. In your body right now could be the workings of a stroke. In your body right now could be the workings of a heart attack. In your body right now could be the workings of death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you want life, life begins at Calvary. You want to go to heaven, you go through the door, and the door is Jesus Christ. It's not a church door. It's the gospel door. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Living brings death. Jesus Christ brings eternal life. But you must believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Now what the Bible doesn't say is believe in a church. It doesn't say believe in a baptism. It doesn't say believe in good works. It says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. There is no greater hope than the blessed hope. And the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. You see, if you don't like Jesus Christ now, you won't like heaven. Because heaven's all about Jesus. It's not about you. It's not about America. There's no Republicans and Democrats in heaven. There's no Baptists in heaven. There's no Catholics in heaven. Only those that are washed in the blood. In the blood of Jesus. And we will sing praises to the one that shed his blood. We're not going to honor John Wesley... We're not going to exalt Peter Ruckman. We're not going to lift, lift up the name, but the only name of Jesus Christ. It won't be to Anderson, Hiles, Bob Jones. There'll be men that are in heaven. But the exaltation will be to Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb that has been slain from the foundation of the world for our sins. That the name of Jesus... Every knee shall bow.